Hey everybody, it's Mark out here at East Cape today. Behind me I've got a new 2013 um, Fury. Uh, a little unorthodox way of filming, but I'm going to do it this way just, uh, just a little bit to see how it works out. Okay, I know you really can't see the boat because I'm standing in front of it, but uh, I'll give you some shots of it here in just a minute. Uh, I'm going to walk over to the boat and try and point some things out and still keep myself in the frame while I do this. But I don't know if you can see this, but uh, these are the V-Marine push-pull clips that we put on here. Uh, pretty cool push-pull clips. I'm starting in the middle of the boat when I should be starting at the front, so just bear with me because it's kind of hard to do to hold the camera and display the boat at the same time. But we'll start with the trailer, okay? Down here, I know, down here we've got a Ramlin galvanized standard trailer. I say this is standard because it's pretty plain Jane, but it's still a badass trailer. Uh, straight up galvanized, comes with a spare Fulton jack cover. All right, anyway, we've got uh, Lavorsi lights right here. Um, can't really see them, but those Lavorsi lights, that's uh, an upgrade that this uh, particular customer wanted. Uh, casting platform, as you can see right here. Again, it's on the, uh, the front hatch, uh, which allows a lot of room up here for the angler or even two anglers uh, to jump up there and fish comfortably. Uh, we've got the glove box here. I don't know if I can open this up and still film everything. But uh, go box, that's, you know, like the cooler, we say, dry storage, the front of the boat for the clients, whatever. Um, it's uh, just additional storage, and it's awesome. Jump seat center console. Again, it is, uh, it's a dry storage uh, space. It's got a tremendous amount of R value, if you will, uh, when it comes to keeping things cold because it's got two inches of foam wrapped all the way around it, uh, which uh, really helps insulate and keep things cold. Uh, my arm's getting tired, by the way. We may have to take a break. Um, so I'll be back. All right? Don't go anywhere. All right, I'm back. Okay, my armor rest, so here we are. All right, moving to the back of the motor, or the back of the boat, you'll see it's got a uh, E-Tech 60 on there. It's got an Atlas jack plate, uh, which is cool because it allows uh, you to get that engine up and uh, out of the grass, if you will, when you want to put, put on and off the flat. Um, it helps uh, find the sweet spot when you're under power, hauling butt, um, and uh, puts the boat in the right attitude. It's, it's a pretty cool option. Um, standard uh, East Cape holding platform right there, one step. Uh, that's the what he wanted. Um, pretty simple setup. Uh, it's a beautiful boat, beautiful color combinations. Uh, he's got a uh, flip up seat cushions, as you can see here. That's his request. A um, little Hummingbird GPS action going on up there. Uh, he sent that to us. We did the install for him. Uh, but other than that, it's a pretty simple, simplistic setup. Again, beautiful colors. I don't know if you guys can see that. You'll see it in the pictures, but very nice. Very, very nice. Anyway, if you don't know anything about a Fury, you need to find out. Check us out online, eastcapeskips.com, all right? Peace.